please follow us on social media platforms as we table the 2023-24 budget vote of the Department of Correctional Services to Parliament on Thursday, 18 May 2023. Our focus will be on the implementation of the self-sufficiency strategic framework, which continue to transform the Department of Correctional Services in our quest to create an entrepreneurial state. We are launching the phase one of the self-sufficiency model by exhibiting projects developed through offender labor. It's a turning point in the history of our democracy. As I've said, Self-sustainability for us is a non-negotiable principle. What we can be able to produce inside, we must produce. We must only outsource what we can't do. And if whatever that we are able to do inside here, let's do it. The self-sufficiency program will enable us to optimize the utilization of our farms, workshops, bakeries, and so on. As a result of this self-sufficiency mo model, we have as DCS will no longer be purchasing eggs and pork from the third quarter of this year. Gradually, we want this to happen to other uh, products. The model is twofold. Inmates will, in the process, also gain practical trade skills, formal qualifications, and relevant experience, which will boost their employment probabilities once released. This will contribute towards a more effective reintegration program. Members of the community will not hesitate to welcome productive ex-offenders who will contribute towards community development. Correctional Services has got 21 farms across the country, 115 small gardens, 9 bakeries, 19 textile workshops. These workshops must be used optimally. And with this program, we want to be able to produce the uniform of both offenders and also of the officials. We also have steel workshops, 10 wood workshops, and one shoe factory. Through self-sufficiency, we want all these farms, bakeries, gardens, and workshops to optimize production and enhance opportunities to provide for ourselves, be it in uniform, vegetables, fruits, bread, milk, meat, and shoes, among other items. In this area of production, Correctional services produced the following in the last financial year. Vegetables, 7,725,000, pork, 1,915,000, beef, 430 kg, milk, 6 million liters, and poultry, 1,084,000 kg, fruits, 572,000 kg, eggs, 1,333,000, in terms of bread, 3,826,360 loaves were baked. The self-sustainability model needs to enable us to modernize some of our technologies that we are using in all these uh, factories, bakeries, the farms, so that we are able to meet the 21st century standards of, um, of production. The last financial year value of code three orders which are orders for furniture from other government entities and departments, amounted to 5,620,000. Our furniture is of high quality. It competes with that from the private sector outlets. In the last financial year, an average of 1,991 offenders worked agriculture per day, whilst 1,106 offenders worked in production workshops per day. When we move closer to home, we want operational efficiency from this self-sufficiency to bear more cost savings in our operations. This is not just desirable, but it's essential. Agriculture must transform our centers. Its prospects in correctional services should galvanize efforts towards its full exploitation. Agriculture is very important for the food security of our country. Let's forge ahead, increase agricultural outputs, and transform the whole center. Together with Deputy Minister Olumisa, we have instructed that self-sufficiently be implemented in all centers across the country. We don't expect any deviations.